Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Michelle and welcome to another episode of Unang Math. In this episode, our lesson is about solving equations using the properties of equality. When we say solving equation, this is finding the value of that variable or finding the solution for that equation. Properties of equality means what we will do on the left side of the equation we have to do this also on the right side of the equation. Okay, let's solve this equation. 3x plus 2 is equal to negative 4. To find the solution or to find the value of x for this equation, we will use the properties of equality. We can rearrange this equation into the form x is equal to number. Variable x will stay or remain on the left side and the number on the right side. So using the properties of equality, rearrange the given equation into the form x is equal to number to find the solution. Okay, let's solve now for 3x plus 2 is equal to negative 4. 3x is combination of number and variable. So we will deal with this one later on. First, we have to remove plus 2. Remove means we will make it 0. So how will we do that? Minus 2. So 2 minus 2, 0. Or we can cancel this one. Property of equality means if we subtracted 2 on the left side, we have to subtract 2 on the right side also. So on the left side, we just have 3x is equal to, on the right side, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. Okay, remember, our aim is the form of x is equal to number. This is 3x. We still have 3 here. We have to remove 3. So how will we do that? Divided by 3. So if we will simplify, just variable x remains on the left side. Okay, again, property of equality, if we divided 3 on the left side, we have to do this also on the right side. So here is also divided by 3. So negative 6 divided by 3, this is equal to negative 2. So x is equal to negative 2. The solution for this equation is negative 2. If you want to check if negative 2 is really the solution, then you just have to substitute the value of x. So x is negative 2. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. So negative 6 plus 2, the answer is negative 4. So this is correct. Okay, let's give more examples. Let's have this first example here. Negative x plus 5 is equal to 7. So first thing we need to do, we have to remove plus 5. So how will we do that? Minus 5 on this side. So 5 minus 5, 0. Or we can cancel this part. Okay, if we subtracted 5 on the left side, we have to do this also on the right side. So here is also minus 5. So we have negative x is equal to 7 minus 5. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. Negative x is equal to 2. We have, or we still have a negative sign here. We have to remove this negative sign. So how will we do that? divided by negative 1. So if we will simplify, only the variable x remains on the left side. Since we divided negative 1 on the left side, we have to do this also on this right side. So here is also negative 1. So 2 divided by negative 1, this is equal to negative 2. So x is equal to negative 2. Let's move on to number 2. Negative x over 5 plus 2 is equal to 6. Okay, first we have to remove plus 2. So on this side, minus 2. So this will be cancelled. On the left side or on the right side, we have to do the same thing. So here is also minus 2. 
So we have negative x over 5 is equal to 6 minus 2 is 4. Okay, negative x over 5. We have to remove this negative 1 over 5 here. So how will we do that? Okay, we have to multiply negative 5. So if we will simplify, only x remains on this side. So if we multiply negative 5 on the left side, we have to multiply here also. So 4 times negative 5, this is equal to negative 20. So x is equal to negative 20. Okay, number 3, 3 over 2x minus 3 is equal to 1. We have to remove negative 3 or minus 3. So here it's plus 3, so this will be cancelled. On the right side also, we have to add 3. So 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So we have 3 over 2x is equal to 4. Okay, we have to remove 3 over 2 here. So how will we do that? 2 over 3 times 3 over 2. So if we will simplify, okay, only x remains on the left side. So if we multiply 2 over 3 on the left side, we have to do this also on the right side. So here is also times 2 over 3. So this is equal to 8 over 3. So x is equal to 8 over 3. Okay, how about this number 4 example? x minus 2 over 5 is equal to negative 1. Okay, x minus 2 over 5, this is equal to x over 5 minus 2 over 5. And this is equal to negative 1. Okay, we have to remove negative 2 over 5. Okay, we can do that by adding 2 over 5. So this will be cancelled. So if we added 2 over 5 on the left side, we need to do this also on the right side. So here is plus 2 over 5. Negative 1 plus 2 over 5, this is equal to negative 3 over 5. So x over 5 is equal to negative 3 over 5. We have to remove 1 over 5 on this side. So how will we do that? Okay, so times 5. Okay, simplify. Only the variable x remains on the left side. So if we multiplied 5 on the left side, we have to do this also on this right side. So negative 3 over 5 times 5, this is equal to negative 15 over 5. So if we will simplify, this is equal to negative 3. So x is equal to negative 3. So if you want to check if our answers are correct, we just have to substitute the value of x. Okay, let's do it. For number 1, it's negative 2. So negative x times negative, uh, negative, yeah, this is negative, so times negative, so it will become positive. So positive 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. So number 1 is correct. Okay, how about number 2? We got negative 20 as the value of x. So negative times a negative number, positive. So positive 20 divided by 5 is 4. 4 plus 2, the answer is 6. So this is also correct. How about number 3? Okay, the value of x is 8 over 3. Okay, 3 over 2 times 8 over 3 is 24 over 6. 24 over 6 is 4. So 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So this is correct. Okay, how about the last number? We got negative 3 as the value of x. So negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. Negative 5 over 5 or negative 5 divided by 5, negative 1. So this is also correct. Okay, let's move on. Let's answer this next activity here. So using the properties of equality, solve the following equations. Okay, let's solve this first equation here. Negative 6x plus 10 is equal to negative 14. So first thing we need to do, we have to remove plus 10 here. So minus 10, so we can cancel these numbers. So if we subtracted 10 on the left side, 
we have to do this also on this right side. So here is also minus 10. So we have negative 6x is equal to negative 14 minus 10. This is negative 24. We have to remove negative 6 here. So we have to divide negative 6. Okay, if we will simplify, only x remains on the left side. Since we divided negative 6 on the left side, we have to do this also on this right side. So here is also negative 6. So negative 24 divided by negative 6, the answer is positive 4 or 4. Okay, how about number 2? 3x plus 4 over 2 is equal to 7. 3x plus 4 over 2 is equal to 3x over 2 plus 4 over 2 is equal to 2. Okay, this is equal to negative 7. We have to remove plus 2 here. So that means minus 2. So we can cancel. We subtracted 2 on the left side. We have to do this also on the right side. So here is also minus 2. So 3x over 2 is equal to negative 7 minus 2. This is equal to okay, negative 9. Okay, we have to remove 3 over 2 here. So we have to multiply. Okay, so times 2 over 3. So 2 over 3 times 3 over 2. Simplify. So only the variable x remain on that side. So if we multiply 2 over 3 on the left side, here also. So times 2 over 3. So this is negative 9 times 2 is negative 18 over 3. And this is equal to negative 6. So x here is equal to negative 6. Okay, let's check our answers if correct. x is 4. So negative 6 times 4 is negative 24 plus 10 negative 14. So this is correct. Okay, how about number 2? Value of x is negative 6. So 3 times negative 6 is 18 plus 4, 14. 14 divided by 2, the answer is negative 7. So this is also correct. Okay, for this next activity, this will be your homework. So you try to answer 2x minus 3 is equal to 7. So again, whatever you do on the left side of the equation, you have to do it also on the right side of the equation. So 2x minus 3 plus what number is equal to 7 plus what number? This number and this number are just the same. And you can solve this one. Okay, you may write your answer in the comment section.